Welcome to Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer Dustin Diaz, and these are your headlines from around the fleet. Hurricane Gustav landed on the Gulf Coast September 1st, and the Navy was quick to respond. The hurricane affected more than 66,000 active duty and reserve sailors, contractors, civilians, and dependents. Of those, more than 7,000 evacuated and none reported injury. Captain Edward Brown, commanding officer of Naval Construction Battalion Center, Gulfport, Mississippi, said the lessons learned from Hurricane Katrina came in handy. The uh, community did a great job. We're, uh, we're really thrilled with the support we received uh, as we went through, very orderly. Uh, lots of experience that was on this base, uh, and, and everybody took this very seriously. The Navy Family Accountability and Assessment System was activated September 1st, and the personnel accountability effort continues at NavyFamily.Navy.Mil. Naval Air Station Meridian is taking evacuees and is identified as FEMA's National Logistics Staging Area. Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base Fort Worth, Texas's airfield is also standing by to assist. No ship's programs in the area have suffered any damage, and flight training is scheduled to resume as soon as possible. Naval Personnel Command and Commander Naval Installations Command are taking steps to locate sailors and provide support. For more information on mustering, relief efforts, and operations related to Hurricane Gustav, visit Navy.mil. USS Kitty Hawk pulled into Bremerton, Washington September 2nd. Bremerton will be Kitty Hawk's last home port in its 47-year career. The ship is scheduled to decommission in January 2009. For the Naval Media Center, I'm Petty Officer Dustin Diaz.